All right, guys, welcome to another very, very exciting video. Once again, we are talking about MIA 13.5 system apps. And now till the time 13.5 comes out, this is going to be a regular stuff because these apps keep getting updated. And whenever you make any changes to these APKs without unlocking the bootloader, you can have quite a lot of value and new features to your devices. So in today's video, we're going to talk about several APKs that have been updated. There are a few which are Android 12 exclusive like MIA 13, Android 12. And there are a few which will work on Android 11 as well. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash, let's get going. Now, there are quite a lot of features that have been added, very very small ones though, although you know, they don't really matter a lot. And as you can see, we are still using the MIA 13.5 control center. You want to call it the MIA 13 China control center or 13.5 control center like this. It's completely up to you. But as you can see, we have the Android 12's Easter egg over here. So let's go ahead and enable this, right? And over here, you know, things like these MI Smart, Smart Hub, you can also enable the cat controls over here. As you can see, I know this is not a lot, but you can have controls for your smart devices. Now, this does give us a glimpse into exactly what exactly is coming up in MIA 13.5. Xiaomi is planning to do what changes and stuff like that. Now, there is a new settings APK that is available. We're going to install that and we're going to talk about that. It does give you some changes in the storage options, wherein you will see the system storage and uh, the cached file storage and stuff like that. So that is also there. Now, as you can see, you have cast your gallery editor, which is now more stable, more fluid, although it doesn't have a lot of new features. You see two different MIUI homes over here, system launchers. These have been updated. They are much more smooth, fluid and stable now. The Poco launchers uh, 4.36 update is available over here. You can also try the latest one from the video that we made. There is a new security APK which does give you access to the latest Game Turbo 5.0. Although, you know, there are no new features that have been added to Game Turbo 5.0, but still there is better stability and better gaming performance slightly compared to what we did get when we reviewed it. You have settings APK, system UI plugin and system service plugin as well. So, you know, all these APKs have different purposes and we will see in this video how to go ahead and install them and update them. At the same time, understand these are alpha APKs or beta APKs. Sometimes they might not give you the desired results, but it will be very interesting to cover these every two, three days to see what exactly is coming up in MIUI 13. Now, there are three specific files over here, which is Android 12 and MIUI 13 only. The first one is the system UI plugin. Now, these three APKs that I'm going to mention, if you're not running officially Android 12 with MIUI 13, don't touch these don't install these. You might get into a boot loop. You might lose your data if you get a boot loop. So please be very careful. I will mention the same in the download links as well. So the system UI plugin is one Android 12 exclusive. The settings APK is another Android 12 exclusive. And the cast APK here is Android 12 exclusive as well. Now let's go ahead and talk about the universal APKs which you can install on MIUI 12.5, MIUI 13. It's completely up to you. It will work on some devices. It might not work on some devices because you know it varies from phone to phone. So we have things like gallery. You get you can get the new more stable editor with this gallery version. And apart from this, we have the new system launcher. You can choose the alpha version or you can choose the 4.38 version as well. As you can see, it says the release over here, right? Now you have the new Poco launcher, which we spoke about. You can use the new security APK, which, are, which has a latest slightly improved and stable game turbo, right? And then you have your system UI plugin as well. Now, because we are on Android 12, we can install all the APKs. So one by one, first, let's install all the APKs. And then I'll tell you where these subtle changes are, what all changes that, that brings to your system and stuff like that. Okay, we've installed cast. Now we'll install the updated gallery editor. Okay, now this is 4.38, we'll install 4.39. So let's go ahead and update this. Now, as you can see, although I'm not on an unlocked bootloader, but it's not asking for any special permissions. It just, you know, installs a normal APK update. Now, Poco Launcher, of course, will only work on Poco devices. So we'll be very careful of that. Security APK, let's go ahead and update this as well. 
okay the next up we have settings apk update this one as well this will give you a preview of the new mii 13 control center we have also installed the new system ui plugin just now and system service plugin is what will update so being on mii 13 and android 12 the advantage that it gives you is you can install all the apks and have a completely you know smooth experience now over here ideally a reboot is not needed but just for the heck of it if you want to do a reboot you can definitely go ahead and do a reboot now what this basically does is from the start you will get the new mii 13 control center 13.5 you can see over here you have the new mii smart hub then you have smart devices water bubbler food bowl these are cat games that we are talking about cat controls right so you can go ahead and enable or disable that so these features are working you do have the new beautiful mii 13.5 control center over here right now apart from this next change that we have is the new launcher now as you can see you now have access to animation speed you can choose fast relaxed balance and stuff like that so all the new features that you would ideally see in the mii 13.5 launcher you will see those over here next up we can actually go to gallery uh, let's actually pick a sky photo okay so sky pick because I want to show you something over here. Let's go to images and let's just download any, any picture for that matter. Now we'll go to the new gallery and uh, the new gallery editor. Now, once you go to the new gallery editor, as you can see, you have this wonderful picture over here. Go to edit and you will see your basic and AI, right? So go to the AI tab and now choose sky. It'll download some files. So make sure you're connected to the internet. Just, just a sec over here. You also have the new erase mode, you have the new sticker mode over here. Okay, sky. Let's click on sky. Okay, now look at the sky over here. I know a lot of you guys already know this, but uh, let's do some dramatic changes here. Let's completely change the color. As you can see, how beautifully. So, you know, it's not necessary that every time you get a new update to any APK by Xiaomi, you should definitely have new features all the time. Because now this is more, you know, reliable, this is more smooth, the fluidity is definitely there. It's now creating a video and, you know, the weather has completely changed. See what the picture was and see what the picture has become, right? So this is the new gallery editor, the launcher and the new MIA 13.5 control center. Now, if you go to Apex Legends over here, you'll of course get game terms, right? Let's see. Okay, used it successfully. Right, now look at this. We do have the new boost performance option in the new game turbo. Although this doesn't have a lot of features, but this works surprisingly well compared to the first game turbo 5.0 feature that we had, right? Now security will give you access to the new game turbo. This will give you new access to the new MI 13.5 control center. Now, if you actually go to settings and you go to notification and control center, look at this preview over here. It gives you the animation of your MIUI 13.5 style of the control center. This is one change. And if you say go to about, let's go to about over here and let's go to storage. Now you can see two system options over here. One system is zero byte and it's calculating now and it has an arrow next to it, right? So system logs and everything, if you're enabling memory extension, this will become much higher other and stuff like that. So these can be cleared if your system log is really, really high. And this system is the system operating system that is using your internal storage and that cannot be changed. But all in all, you know, these system APKs, they do definitely add value and some new features sometimes. And it's always a good thing to try because if it is not working for you, you know, all you need to do is go to settings app, manage apps, go to the three dots, show system services say we want to downgrade the security right which will downgrade our game turbo say you're having problems in game turbo just uninstall updates and say let's go to apex legends once again you will see game turbo coming up once again no because we cleared security right so let's go to the security apk pqrs where is the security apk there you have it okay now let's go to your game turbo Okay, as you can see, this is the old game turbo. So you uninstall updates and you then have the old game turbo, as you can see. Similarly, you know, you can do things like go to settings, go to apps, go to manage apps and look for launcher. 
so system launcher uninstall updates and now what you will see is the whole layout changes and you go back to your stable stock launcher that was supplied to you with the ROM and you can see over here the relaxed and the animation feature is gone so yes these system APKs are very very interesting they definitely give us a glimpse into MIA 13.5 as to what features are coming and you can ex you know experience the next gen very very soon let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is Kailash signing off with phone ops Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.